Hey everyone, it's Stacy with Stalking Horse. So welcome back to our channel. Uh, today we're going to do a walkthrough of the 2021 ENM office visit table for from the AMA. So we previously put out a couple of videos about the guidelines and the changes and the updates and the number and complexity of problems, amount and or complexity of data to be reviewed, and then the risk of complications and or morbidity, mortality of patient management. We have those separate videos. However, we did not really do a walkthrough of the actual table. And knowing that some people are more visual learners, uh, you, we thought that it would be a great idea to kind of give you a walkthrough of the table. So if you do not have that table handy, click on on the link below and go ahead and grab that table and uh, once we come back we will be walking through those uh, guidelines on the table itself okay see you in a minute Stacy here again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and share my screen so we can walk through that table. So if you have clicked on the link and you have your table in front of you, uh, it'd be a good idea to kind of be staring at it now. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so this table is uh, very similar to the old table as mentioned before in our previous videos. But I know for some it would be great to kind of just talk through what it's comprised of, how it works, how to really use it. So the first thing is that um, over here on the left, we want to take a look at our, our um, column headers from left to right. So the first one is code, which obviously if you look below that has the different e &M codes listed below. So we have the nurse visit or 99211. Then we have level two, both new patient and established. Levels three, four, and five. And then if we look at the next column, that's level of medical decision making. There's a little note in there that says based on two out of three elements of medical decision making. That's important because that's again telling us that um, in order to select one of these office visit levels. It has to have met at least uh, two out of the three elements within that particular level to qualify to be used. So we'll talk about that some more here in a little bit, but the level of medical decision making is either straightforward, low, moderate, or high. And it has NA or not applicable for the 99211 because that's again more of a nurse's visit. So you'll see actually all the way across, that's all not applicable. So we can kind of just ignore that 99211 for the purposes of leveling the visits on the table. The next column is that number and complexity of problems addressed. So we have different uh, information and criteria in each of the boxes or cells below for each of the levels or complexities. So for number complexity of problems, it's either gonna be minimal, low, moderate, or high. So the complexity of the problems addressed, again, will either be minimal, low, moderate, or high. And again, that's only one of the elements out of the three here. Then if we look at the next column, it's elements uh, here, it's number and complexity of data to be reviewed and analyzed. Um, there's a note also that says each unique test, order, or document contributes to the combination of two or combination of three and category one below. So this, is, this data can get really tricky. So again, the complexity of the data will either be minimal or none, limited, moderate or extensive. Many people will say it'll be straightforward, low, moderate, or high, but essentially they're talking about that level of medical decision making. So either, either way, referring to it either way is, is fine. Um, and this would be, again, the second element in the medical decision making table. And then last but certainly not least, we have uh, the final column, which is risk of complications and or morbidity or mortality of patient management. 
And that will either be minimal risk, low risk, moderate risk, or high risk. So again, this is the third element out of the three for medical decision making. So kind of going back to uh, this uh, level of medical decision making based on two out of three elements, what this is meaning is that, again, at least two out of the three elements have to uh, be either at the same level or has to be above a certain level to select that level of service. So an example would be if your number and complexity of problems is low, and let's say the amount and or complexity of data is moderate, and then your risk of complications and or morbidity or mortality is low, that would mean that your visit would be a low complexity or a level three because you had number and complexity of problems is low and also risk it low. Even though data was moderate, it needed to be two out of the three. So that would be low. Another example might be number and complexity of problems addressed. Maybe that's moderate. Um, your data element, perhaps that's also moderate. And then your risk, perhaps that's high. Your level will still be a level four because it's two out of the three. So you would have number and complexity of problems at moderate and um, the amount and or complexity of data at moderate. So even though risk is high, we cannot code the visit as high because that's only one out of the three elements. And let's talk about one more example. Let's say that number and complexity of problems addressed is moderate. Data is minimal or none. And let's say our risk is high. So we're kind of all over the table with this one. We have a uh, first element at moderate, second element at minimal or none or straightforward here, and then third element at high or five. So we would have one at a four, one at a two, and one at a five. Well, because number and complexity of problems meets moderate and risk it's exceeds moderate because it's at high we have then at least two out of the three that meet the moderate threshold so this also would be a level four we cannot bring it down to a five and we certainly don't want to undercoat it um, up to a two so again it's two out of the three and it has to either meet or exceed uh, that level of service that you are looking to code. And um, again, if you haven't checked out the other videos that we have, they walk through each element in a little bit more detail and also reference the AMA um, guidelines that are out there with the technical corrections as well. So hopefully you found this helpful, especially if you're uh, getting into the ENM leveling, perhaps you've been doing surgical coding or just getting into coding or maybe even studying for an exam. Um, hopefully this, you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, go ahead and put a comment in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to our page so that you can get all the new videos every week as they come out. And uh, just remember, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth.